yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I run a couple tweets by you, but I think no, now no, that no, I'm no. verified, like the fact that The Rock replied to me, mm-hmm. yeah, I think it's because I'm verified. So I have to like think differently now. Right. I used to be able to talk just mad shit Cause you about could, celebrities. You could, hide, you could hide within every tweet. Yeah. Like, but now yeah. the blue is like a highlight. Like, let's. Yeah. And I think like people like, you know, they're like, oh, this guy thinks he's something. Yeah. And he's talking shit about The Rock. I love the people defending The Rock. Like he needs defense. Yeah, you know, I didn't like, feel like he said anything where he <laughs> it wasn't. Either, that, yeah, it wasn't bad. They're like, yeah, the people that were really like, yeah, sit down. You know, I yeah. also, Very I also found it troubling. You found a problem. <laughs> with his the problem tweet. was not about the three showers. The the it wasn't a problem. It was that the idea of I take three showers a day. The first one's this temperature. The second one's this temperature. The third one's this temperature. Oh, yeah, I'm like, all right, that's intense. I could have used the word intense. I, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. But he's the rock. You would I'd expect that from him. Like if you asked him where he works out, he wouldn't say chest. He would do I'd fifty curls and yeah. I, that's not even chest, but he'd be like, I'd do fifty <laughs> presses of this way, incline. He's very But that this guy. is how I meant it. This is weirder than not showering. And people took it like this. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is yeah, weirder yeah, yeah. than not showering. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah. I think yeah. the rock and I were all cool. Hopefully I'll meet him someday. And I shower twice a day sometimes. People kept calling me stinky, which yeah. I thought was an interesting insult because I'm like, a lot. I'll go just shower. I'll, if that, if yeah. I'm stinky, I can fix that. If you call say like <laughs> call me a big nose or say I'm annoying, that's or part of who I am. Something, yeah, 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 that you wouldn't, cha- you can't change easily, easily, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But something like stinking, I would just go shower. I got a lot of musty. Stink, called musty, stink stinky. Neck. Stink neck made me laugh. Something about my, what did they call me? Stink neck. I think like I, a stink, st- stink, stink, stink neck, stink neck, stink like neck. Like you have a yeah, stinky like neck right here. Like, cause you know how people we have wrinkles in our necks, right? So yeah, imagine yeah. someone being able to feel like mm, I think your neck. Oh god. <laughs> I I don't know if I mentioned it once. Where I clearly freshman year of college, I must have had a bo problem, and my okay. roommate didn't want to tell me because you know who wants to tell someone that, and he would spray Febreze on my clothes. Oh yeah. When without, I wasn't without you knowing, How, no. did you find out or did he confess? He told me like years later once I got everything under control. Oh I my guess. God. You I, never noticed. You just I, thought your clothes <laughs> smelled magically nice. I'm just, I'm just mad. He waited till you came to the light. He's like, hey, you smell good, by the way. I wanted to let you know. This whole three years, I've been. Uh, it's I, tough to tell I, someone. I had a roommate once with a very stinky butt. And a it was, it was definitely that butt. was a little specific though. No, yeah, yeah. I mean it was a dorm type situation okay. where you're like really close, and it, it's the only way to convey that you knew it was butt. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, there's just like a yeah, thing where yeah, you're yeah. like, you, I, I I don't think it's bo. It's not bo. It's not that smell. It's just, they're not it wiping. is a butt. They're you know, not wiping. they're not. They're and there not was no. At all. I didn't do any like, and I didn't do any of the spraying stuff. I you know I tried to. I got <laughs> candles at one point and I tried to open the window as much as possible. But my brother is good at hinting that your breath stinks. Like he'll oh. just randomly just do this. Like <laughs> wait, and sit, that's not a hint. It's that, so subtle. But it, it's like after a while, if you see someone sitting next to you with their, you're like. Oh yeah, but but they didn't never said it, and they might like not like the smell of the room or something, but they never said it was you. But it would make you self conscious and make you go check. Yeah, that would make us. What's going yeah. on? I remember there was a woman once we were hooking up a couple times, and then she was. I went to kiss her, and she was like, "Brush your teeth." And oh, I wish I could. It hurt my. Feet. I know she didn't mean cruel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it hurt. I've never been able to tell a woman. I remember a girlfriend I, I hooked up with in, in high school. And I remember she. We ate Chinese food together, and I thought like it was the worst hookup of my life. But I couldn't tell her. I couldn't yeah. bring myself to tell her. Yeah. That her breath stank. I, I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell women that either. I just be like, I'm never trying to kiss her again. Honestly. Like, yeah, yeah. You just never speak to them again. Yeah. You no. avoid it. I always say, if, if, yeah. if a friend has something in their teeth, do you tell them or do you just stop being their friend forever? <laughs> Um, I would I would tell like I would tell you guys like I I feel like we're close but we're not like brotherly close but I would tell you if you had something in your teeth if you had said that we were brotherly close it'd be like <laughs> wow that's <laughs> <Jeff, laughs> a great guy but like he's he's a lonely lonely man um, uh, well welcome to the downside uh, uh, my name is Jamarcus Reyes I'm here with my co-host Russell Daniels. Hi. <laughs> How many times? You, I say your name. You Jamarco, say your thing. The, the the intro starts sometimes right away. Sometimes it starts. Hours later, I don't know. I, I, I know don't you, know what you want me to do. And also, you, you I, us. I know, yeah. but I also, I haven't been. You've you've been gallivanting around, not 
not having me as a co-host <laughs> in LA. So, you know, I'm just getting my bearings. I in. did a couple of episodes with Russell. Yeah, and not a Joe Budden in people. That's I know, doing, right? Yeah. And we're here with uh, a comedian, a writer, a TikTok star, <laughs> stand-up comedian, Jeff Wright. Welcome to The Downside. Thank you for Woo. having me. Thank you for having me. Uh, say something sad. Sad? Because I, I want to say, I was worried. I went to your Twitter. I've been doing a lot of research today. And you My call yourself brand. the CEO of happy. <laughs> well, I'm the, I'm the CEO of sadness. I, and, I, think, I, I think to be happy, you have to be sad, though. So, one, so two, therefore. Three. Perfect. Downside. You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Cerezi. I like that very much. To be happy, you have to be sad. Uh, we're very excited to have you. Just so everyone knows, we're recording this, of course. So we're still we're recording these episodes early. Mm -hmm. This is August 10th. So I know you're like, is he still talking about The Rock? Well, it just <laughs> happened is the point. <laughs> it it, it just so, happened yesterday. Um, this is this has been a, a quite a quite a week. I'm gearing up for a Texas trip, which will have happened by the time I do this. I'll be 33 by the time this podcast comes Let's out. Go. Happy birthday! You might have breakthrough COVID by the time this comes out. That's true because you're going I, to Texas. I know. I'm yeah. a little bit scared about that. The the new variant, the oh, Delta the, Plus, no, not the Lambda. Lambda, you Lambda. guys. Lambda is scary. It's different. I, it's gonna be real bad. Lambda is like it's not as potent either, but it's like it's its own variant. I yeah I, yeah I I I just want, I know no facts about it though I know you know I swear yeah. about a month into COVID I said I I was playing it safe but I said I'm not I'm not learning I'm not learning anymore oh, that's so brave because that's so said, good I, I was just I was having this <laughs> conversation earlier with someone I was like you ever you ever like not open, like you know how in college they just post your grades you don't get like mm. a report card or anything mm. but. They say, oh, your grades are supposed to go look. But until you look, you don't have an A, an F, or anything. So yeah. you don't look. So you not looking into any facts means yeah. you don't have. I mean, that is, that's, I think w w we're not doing enough of that in America. <laughs> we are not doing enough of pretending <laughs> but, <laughs> that nothing that means, is happening. And, uh, you know, I if I don't know about it, it can't happen. You learn about Delta, then there's Delta Plus. No, you got to no, learn no, a I whole know. new thing. You yeah. read articles, you freak out. Yeah. I know. Um, I did read that one thing about Lambda, though, and there was like, oh, maybe it doesn't the vaccines don't work against it, and that freaked I've, me out. I've heard that. Too. So now I'm freaked out about it. But I blame I blame people for uh, the Lambda variant because it's just going to keep changing. Oh, because people yeah. Are. Well, Ariel Elias, a friend of mine, she wrote, at least we're all learning about the Greek alphabet, yeah. which I think that is plus we're educating Americans <laughs> in something at least. I didn't um, even see it that way. I like that. Well, th this is uh, this has been a uh, uh, Russell. Did you did you have any shitty things happen this week? No, I had a funny thing happen just uh, on the train today, though. You know, when that thing happens, when uh, someone's not really. <laughs> Holding on to the train properly. Yeah. And you're like, you see them and they have bags and things and you're like, oh, you're going to fall. And but you're you're too far away or you're like, I don't want to be presumptuous and right. presume that they're going to fall. Right. But sure enough, this older woman, the train started moving and she and her bags didn't fall. But you her bag hit another woman <laughs> really hard in the head and in that, the head. Yeah. And that woman was like, ah! like that woman like yelled loudly and was surprised by it. And, and, and then everyone settled and the woman was very apologetic. Everything settled down, settled down, settled down. So then we stop and we go to move in the next stop again. And the same exact thing happens, and the woman same hit the lady. woman again in the head with the bag. And I same was like, woman. Yes, same was woman. Like, what did she I say that like, time? The woman was like, uh, and the woman was apologetic, and I was like, someone's got to move. Someone has to <laughs> stop this. This is madness. Um, but yeah. I like the third time she has a concussion, serious issues. I... You, yeah, you, 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 you got to fix it. And the woman was nice the second time. Second the, time, no, you give a look. Woman, yeah, no, the woman I was less nice. She was The first time, she was very startled, but then quickly settled down. and was like, I'm going to be chill about this. Yeah. But the second time, there was a bit like of a, what are you doing? Like, like hold on to something. You know, yeah, put yeah, a bag yeah. down, hold on to something. Yeah. Russell, I forgot. Is your camera recording? You see yes. the red dot? I yes. have no glass. I can't see anything. I wanted to bring up you one time. Glasses. You should get glasses. I know. Lasix. Yeah. You mean laser surgery? Yeah. It's called la Lasix. Isn't yeah. It? Lasix. Yeah. Lasix surgery. Yeah. You have. You got it. Yeah. Oh God. Did love it. How long? How, what, what, yeah. Did, you it's, didn't have any problems with it. All my uh. all my merch has a picture of me with glasses on it, so oh, I yeah, feel like I'm not going to get any medical attention because I have one fifty dollars. Do you logo. always wear glasses? At your shows? I, I usually bring it up. I like have it and I bring it up. I use it for seeing movies and seeing far away. I can't see that fucking shit. Yeah, but when did you get it? Do you you have a driver's license, right? Yeah, but I can't drive, but I do. 
But like when, when well, you when you start happened. driving, driving, then you'll want you'll get this. Want what license. happened to me? I got my license renewed. This was before we started this podcast. Mm-hmm. I had to get it renewed. It expired. Mm-hmm. I went to the fucking thing, and I forgot that when you get it renewed, even if you're not driving, you have to take the eye exam again. Yeah. yeah. So I go there. I didn't bring my glasses, uh, and I'm there, and I'm looking at this chart, and I'm pressing my face <laughs> again because I don't want to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go home. I waited at the DMV. Yeah. Pressing it off, I cannot read the letters to save my life. Mm-hmm. And I beg them to wow. break the law, I guess. I'm like, wow, please. You're really blind. And I had to go home and go back and get them. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm just glad our system didn't let him beg his I way in. Know. I was nervous for a little bit. And they were like, yeah, yeah, you're the fine. The fact that I have a license shows that the system is broken. <laughs> I have, there's no way I should have a license. Yeah. I, I can do a three-point turn. You do a parallel park. I you- failed the test like four times. Yeah, I... <laughs> I failed my permit test and my dad got mad at me. I was like, damn. You Which one? Is that the, the, the written one? The written, the written one. The written one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. could drive by that time. What did I you just say? Couldn't. You mix up the red and the green? No, there was like a literally a sign that had arrows pointing that way and that way, right? And the question was, what does this sign mean? And I chose either left or right. And the answer was, you can't go forward. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. See, you would have failed. You would have been I right. My dad would have been mad at in? both of us, Florida. <laughs> Okay, okay, Florida. <laughs> My right. dad would have hated us. We had those. Did you have to do the this, the hours with a driving instructor in the car? Nah. No. No. I'm from oh. Florida. Florida, we, you just get a license. You get a license at And a gun. Just give it to you. They and just, a gun. <laughs> throw them on over. <laughs> and a gator. <laughs> That's well, you know, I went to the University of Miami mm-hmm. and Coral Gables. Which is not Florida, for the record. What the fuck? Y'all don't count. Miami doesn't count as Florida. You know what, what do you mean? no? What you, does that mean? When you think of Florida, if you think of Miami, you're not thinking of Florida. Yeah, I agree. Okay, well, so like, what is Miami? Granted, crazy shit state? happens in in Miami, but like if we're we're thinking like swampy or or like even Fort Lauderdale is more Florida, Florida than, than Miami. Yeah, yeah. Even like you can have nice parts, but it's still <laughs> like. Well, Miami Florida, is not that. Florida did have Miami University of Miami. We did have an alligator, and it was like. It, we had a big lake in the center of campus, beautiful lake. Oh, and this alligator or crocodile alligator, mm-hmm. I don't know, would alligator. just would just come out sometimes mm-hmm. and just hang on the side, and they'd send like one security guard to kind of like nudge him back, watch, or just watch, just make sure he didn't do anything crazy. But like people, I had a teacher who said he almost stepped on the alligator once. He was like walking, texting, and he almost stepped. It was in the middle of the sidewalk during See, summer break. Let me let me show you the difference between Miami and Florida. If you wake up come outside and there's a gator in front of your house that's florida if you're on campus and the gator is like in the grass that's that's miami it's different like you gotta like unbeknownst to you yeah he stepped on it that's cool but that gator wasn't trying to eat him or anything the gators in florida are hungry and they're knocking on your door like let me in. yeah it's different do you know i think something floridians love um about gators maybe this only happened one time but i feel like it happens a lot is like if some a criminal is like committing a crime and they're like robbing a, a house or something and then they're hiding and then they get eaten by, by a gator. Again. <laughs> I was that like, I thought like that's... love when that happens. And I feel like maybe it's only happened one time and I read a story Florida about it. Justice. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Florida justice. But I, it happened last year or something. I remember, and everyone was like, yeah, serves him right. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like, it's like, that was worth the hundred babies that came before it. <laughs> See, we got, the... do you know someone who's been eaten by a crocodile? Nah, nah, I've known someone who's I, been It's bit. a gator. A gator. Yeah, crocodile. a crocodile like lays in the sun and is like dry. A gator okay. is like water. Well, all I remember is that this what happened. This was like people love this on campus for whatever reason. But then poachers, I guess, they found the gator with the head chopped off, Your and the tail chopped off. Our gator, oh, wow. and like cut into pieces, and they took the head and the tail. Hey. And I, I thought mind, that might be Florida. That yeah. sounds like yeah. Florida. <laughs> some people, visiting from some Florida. people came down from <laughs> came down <laughs> in Miami and visited. Yeah. Now, uh, what do you now do? Did they teach you in school like what to do if you see a gator? I always heard zigzag. Uh, yeah, I've heard zigzag too. But no, honestly, because I'm from Orlando, Florida, so mm, we're a little more civ- mm-hmm. civilized. But mm. I mean, we still woke up to maybe a gator in front of your uh, house. That's horrifying. Yeah, that'd be scary. I haven't personally. I've like seen a gator in my backyard, but that's did your gator. household have a gun? Nah, we we weren't a gun. Which is sad. Like, I wish we were, but we weren't. Like, my mom believed in Jesus too much to mm. uh, let us have a gun. Just pray about it. I'm I like, I don't, know if the, I don't know if the criminal would be like, hold on, y'all praying? All right, <laughs> I'll come back. There's a pretty 
There's a pretty good big cross section of Jesus lovers and gun lovers, I think. Yeah, but like, yeah, my household was different though. But yeah. I, I know, I know what you mean. There are definitely some God that's wants the classic, me to have this gun. Yeah, that's the classic joke. I think it's like a bear comes across a hunter, and the hunter prays to God or somebody. Like the bear's a Christian, and so he prays before he eats the hunter. Basically, that it's <laughs> oh, not going to help you yeah. do shit. Yeah. Um, so, so good. Well, I wanted to start with Florida because you know, Florida's shit on routinely. Russell talks shit about Florida. No, I every don't. Every episode of this no, podcast. No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, listen. And Floridians I, talk shit about New York. I, have, I feel like these do. are. I have in-laws. I have in-laws from, we are beefing right now. Yeah. I have, my in-laws are from Florida. So okay. it's, it, it, it's a, it's a, we go there a lot and, mm. uh, uh, it is a weird beef that's been happening, See, and uh, it's silly because you're like, both places have great things that you can enjoy. I don't know why these two are being picked. I've to never be heard you say one other. good thing about Florida, Russell. I, Let's I, get one I, nice thing. One no, nice thing. I right now. love. I love a good beach, and Florida has great beaches. Okay. Um, that's not. That's not a good enough. Thing. I, I, no, I love because uh, like it's not a Florida thing to have a beach. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, well. Name some Florida things. And Wawa I'll, is that Florida? No, nah, there's no, a we have, Wawa. We have Wawa right? down in like there's Pennsylvania has Wawa. Say one good thing about, about the Florida. state, Russell. I said I, I love the weather. I love <laughs> I love the beaches. I I don't know what else to love. What I mean, what else? What are the things are there? <laughs> what else are in a place? The weather and the beach. I mean, that's what they lo- they brag about. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, humidity. What, you yeah, probably, you hate that? Are humidity? No, I don't mind. I mean, I, I lived in Texas for a while. I'm, uh, I'm, so I'm fine with it. To. I like Louisiana. I, I just know, know Orlando. It's... Like as a kid, I just know Orlando uh, from Nickelodeon shows. It'd always be this show was shot at Orlando, yeah. Florida, yeah. and it looked there's a big fountain. I was but like, by, Ooh. The, by the time you grew up, it was gone. Like is, Universal is Universal Studios, but they're not filming anything there anymore. What's all in L.A. now? Yeah. Did you ever go to a Nickelodeon show growing up? Nah, could have been I've, a good Nickelodeon kid. <laughs> It's me and Nick Cannon just <laughs> 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 all that again. But uh, nah, I think all the shows were in L.A. by that time. And I was just a Disney kid. Like my dad would just bring us to Disney like not every weekend, but damn near like every other month we would go to Disney. Wow. Yeah, that's 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 fun. I, I mean, it probably wants to go to Disney. Oh, you I don't grew, like Disney? I grew up going to Disney every year, too. So every well, year. every year, that's cool because it's like, all right, every weekend a is a lot. But every other month, then you're like. Damn, we gotta walk again. This is like a walk at yeah, this a lot point. Of walking. So who's who's is your dad enjoying this? Is, you, who's no, going to Disney think, World and being like, "Fuck, we had to go to Disney World this weekend." No, we 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 liked the idea of going to Disney. It was being at Disney was like, "Damn, this is a lot." It's brought to you by. But uh, <laughs> what was the what was the first? Disney. Yeah, be careful. Disney owns everything now, man. Facts, My God, facts. Uh, what was the ride? That you went on, like, what was was there anything you looked forward That's to? That's what I don't like. I just remember loathing the walk. That was the thing. Yeah, and yeah. like we wouldn't, we wouldn't like buy food. That my mom would pack food, no. so it was just like because that food's Di- crazy Disney expensive. Food is crazy expensive, and it's not good. It's not. It's, it's not good food, but it's it's wildly expensive. Do they have the? I remember getting. I went in college. Nice and. Got one of those, it's like a turkey, turkey leg. leg? Oh, it's a big yeah. fucking turkey yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's never as good as I not want good, it to be. Good. Thank you. They're it's not never good. as good. They always look so, so good. fucking good, but no, not good. It's never good. I think one I had one was like dry, uncooked. I was like, man, this, it's five dollars. Uh, it's probably not five dollars anymore. But when, as a kid, it was like five dollars, and it was disgusting. I was like, yeah. I should have got a sandwich. Sure, <laughs> should have just got a sandwich. Uh, when was the last time you went to Disney World? Ooh, a long time. Uh, I I used to go with my family, and then I I probably they they go still sometimes because my my brother has kids now. Uh, but I haven't gone since like probably ten years. Mm. Yeah, I remember yeah. Tower of Terror. That's what I I did. I didn't like Tower of Terror. Ooh, Ooh. Tower of Terror is the best. I mean, I I used to do it occasionally, but I didn't like it. It stressed me out. I'm like somewhere in between you guys. It's just like stressful. Yeah. But after you do it, then you're like, oh, I could do this again. Yeah. I'm like, I'm right in between. So you were born, though, in Jersey. Yes. And when did you move? When I was six, seven. It was it was first grade or second grade. I don't know what age that is for everyone, yeah, yeah. but that, that year, first to second. And when I moved, I almost stayed back. But they were like, you weren't here in Florida long enough to, for us to hold you back. Mm. So just go ahead and. You got like a year of grace, and they let me go to third grade. Wow, I was apparently they thought people. They, it's a beef from the north to the south. They thought northerners were were dumb, so they're like, "I will just help this little kid out." <laughs> That's well. good. That's now. Why did you move to Florida? Parents, parents moved. I moved. Did I they, don't know. I don't. They never told me. We weren't running from the mob or anything. We just moved. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Were you sad when it happened? Do you remember it? Ah. 
They was they told us we're getting a house. I said, oh okay, cool. Oh, you were in like an apartment in yeah. Jersey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It was that's it nice. Was a great move at that point. I didn't like in first grade. I didn't have friends that like I was committed to. Like we had kids we raced, but that was it. Like I didn't know their last name. Mm-hmm. So I was ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I missed that one kid who <laughs> always lost to me at the race. <laughs> that, was it. that was it. I was ready to go though. So Orlando, mm-hmm. tell me the downsides of living in Orlando. The downsides of living in Orlando. Because you just moved to New York recently. Yeah. So you've been in Orlando a long time. You were in Orlando the whole time. But I'm an advocate for Orlando. I think people should. It's a great starter city. And here's the bad. There's no bad. Honestly, it's it's like. What do you mean starter city? Like comedy, the world we're in. Yeah. Uh huh. It's like great because you get to hone your craft. Um, You meet people. Like if you work on your skill in, in Orlando, Florida. You're working on your skill that's universal. It's Universal Studios there, no pun intended. <laughs> but um, like it's we get people from all over the world there. Yeah. Mm. So you're not like pitching to a niche. But I feel like if you grew up in Indiana, you would probably pitch like a southern type of comedy yeah, because you're doing you know like that's of... what they like. Oh, right? that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Orlando was a great starter city because it was like a melting pot. So like I can hit this type of crowd, this type of crowd. It'd be like just mixed. And so like now coming to New York, I feel like. Okay, maybe this joke probably won't work, but I have jokes that are geared towards here. I got jokes. So you're like, oh, maybe this fuck New York City joke won't play great. Yeah, but it'll in work. In- <laughs> <laughs> it works better now that you live here. Yeah, not that's cause, the thing. Cause, that's the thing about everywhere is that you're like, I, people can talk shit about where they're from mm-hmm. or where they are right now, mm-hmm. and it just is sometimes it's bothersome when you're not when you're like, I don't, I don't, I'm not coming to you to. You know, right. shit on Florida, like yeah. Well, you know. I, I I I was in Connecticut this at the casino this last Sunday, and if I talk shit about New York and New York, I I enjoy it. But talking about yeah. it there, it gets like this kind of raucous applause, and yeah, I'm like, too You're much. Connecticut. You live in fucking Relax. Connecticut. <laughs> Relax. It's, it's the same, but nothing to do. Right. You know, like you, I'm a, awesome. I'm, a, I'm like I'm here for a visit for a reason. I'm going <laughs> back. I'm leaving. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. <laughs> Casino crowds, my God. Um, If there's anything bad about Orlando, I would say maybe the fact that our summer is like, or the inconsistency in the weather. I would say it would rain for an hour, then it would stop, then it might rain again. Or like you could see a sheet of rain and then get to the other side and it'd be like sunny. It's really, it's like God is like, "Eh, I don't, I haven't committed to what I want to do with you guys yet. And Mm. that's, that's. That's Florida, Orlando. So your mom was very religious, would you say? No guns, at least. A, li- a religious enough? Nah, she's probably super religious. Yeah, I'd go with that. And what about your dad? My dad is kind of religious. He's, he's like th- he's like the he's like the dad you would think of on TV. He's like we going to church because your mom said we going to church. Mm, sure, sure. Yeah. He's like the dad you would. Yeah, that that picture. It's like yeah, but if if. <laughs> if my mom went to work and like we begged him not to go, he's not gonna fight us on it. And he's like, all right. So you going to church every Sunday, for the most part, yeah. Until you're until what age? Are you still going now? I don't go to church every Sunday now. Um, I would go. I'm not opposed to it. Uh, until what age? Till I was old enough, or my brother was old enough to have a car, then we was like, all right, we, we can go when we want to. We can go if we don't want to. Or we cannot go if we don't want to, but yeah. And were you putting on, how early in the morning is this? We're, we're a heathen crowd over here. Got you. I feel so that. I, I felt that vibe. You felt that vibe. <laughs> when you, you when you're you of God, I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw you look looking up, for looking for the cross. And yeah, like, like, I was looking for the upside it? down <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it early? Was it like, like or was it fun? Was it a fun church? Was, singing? was church early? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know what. Uh, tell me what. Nah, the church you got. No, nah, don't do that. You know facts about church. Don't I've do been that. To, I've been to he some said, like. Did you guys pray? What was, <laughs> But I'm saying like. Was I don't know. Singing? Every church seems very <laughs> different. Every church I've gone to is like once a year at Christmas yeah. time. And they it's boring different. as fuck. It's my, boring as fuck. My church was boring. Like it wasn't. It wasn't the TV black church where everybody's just doing this. Yeah. It wasn't that. Okay. It was just very. It was, yeah, even though Seven Heaven is probably a bad example based off the uh, God, but um, right. I would, I would think it was like, you know how boring Seven Heaven was. Yeah, that was my church. So, what is like that? The black church in people's minds where it's like fun. Is that a particular 
I of, think that's real. I just yeah. think that wasn't my church, though. What kind of Christian were you? What's it? Press, press, but West, Westboro Baptist. What was it? Westboro Baptist. I'm just Baptist. joking. I'm just saying there's different Westboro branches. Baptist. <laughs> what Are kind they of Florida? Christian? Were, there, there are a know. lot of branches. I don't, I don't, I don't quite know. I just uh, every every church is First Baptist. My church said First Baptist mm-hmm. on there. I was just waiting for one to cop to the second. Like we not first, but we not last. We Second Baptist Church, but no <laughs> one ever did that. But. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know what kind of it was. Just it was God, Jesus. I just think so interesting because you have part of your TikToks that really went viral, where this were God and heaven, and so I just imagine that comes from like being around that so much growing up that you have like thoughts about what what is heaven, and you nah. come up with a funny thing. Nah, that's honestly not what happened. Honestly, I was uh, in the kitchen with my brother, and I was like, "Yo, man, it'd be funny if God didn't send Jesus to do all that." He was like, it, like he found out slowly what Jesus did. But I, I think I only chose those characters because I was someone no one knew. So I was like, I'm a pick characters everyone knows. Even if you're an atheist, you know who God and Jesus was. And like, if you're really into the Bible, then you're like, oh no, that's not his son and all that. But you kind of got a father son relationship. And I was like, these are characters everybody know. So they'll be able to digest these characters fast. And just introduce them to me, not so I used God in a sense. <laughs> so okay, you have siblings. How many siblings? I got one brother who's older and a, a younger sister. Are they in the arts? Nah. What are they doing? Uh, my sister's in law school, and my brother's in real estate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so you were in Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you go to school for? Did you go to college? <laughs> communications. Communications. Which every uh, yeah. I feel like every. Uh, creative does it just goes to school or right it feels like every creative who isn't doing well went to college to be in the arts and every it always feels like to me like people went to conservatories are not doing well yeah and the people who are succeeding went to college for communications and i'm like yeah. fuck that i should have gone one for communications yeah I've, uh damn i can kind of see that i can kind of see that or we're just the ones complaining about it the most like he was a communications major i'm not complaining about that i'm complaining about me spending any money on anything like yeah. that was related to college at this if point you were, where'd you go to college Oh, uh, UCF, Central Florida University. Central. What's what's the mask? Miami. My college beefs with who? Uh, the you're, Florida you're, State. With the, Florida with the State. Gainesville. Yeah. Yeah, the Gators. No, no, no. Florida State is uh, Tallahassee, right? Oh, I don't know. Florida actually. State University. I, don't know I think you sports. guys beef with the Gators, which is University of Florida. Oh, uh, okay. That sounds more right. Maybe Gaines, they were the ones who Gainesville. killed. The They're the Gators. The Gators. You beef with the Gators? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I went Blue, to one football orange. game. I went to one football game. The we Canes. lost thirty-nine to zero. And I was like, never again. You guys lost 39 to zero? Yeah, I went to one. I'm saying my whole college stay uh-huh. at this football school. Uh-huh. The reason The Rock forgave me, because we both went to University of Miami. Gosh. I went to one game, and I was dragged to the game by my girlfriend. And that we lost 39 to zero. And I was like, ah, I'm never going to do this again. I feel you. I don't, I don't really like college football games at certain states. Maybe University of Florida would have been different, but if you guys ever went to a FSU college football game, the way they scream at these players, it makes you seem like they saying something else. Like run, I, whoa, we we still in Tallahassee now, and that's yeah. a black running back. Let's just, let's, oh my god, it just doesn't feel right in my spirit. I just don't like it. Yeah, there's something weird about any college sport a little bit when people are really that invested in their yeah. adults because you're like these are technically students these you know like kids. they're <laughs> these a are little kids. bit older than high school but yeah. to be like that like invested like, it's like eh. football is the greatest sport to hide racism in, if you think about oh because you get you get to get away with like calling people boy and mm. and 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 you can say it to a white kid too but like you can probably mean it different when you say it. like get that boy get get come here boy like that'd be very funny like a, a white running backs running and they're like uh go quickly go quickly <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's easier to hide it in football. I I feel very anti-football, and again, I say it as someone who's not like a s- avid sports fan. But it just seems like people are getting brain injuries. And there was that picture last year where it said "end racism" in the in, in the end zone, and then it had um, what was the team? It's uh, what I don't think it was the the Washington Redskins at the time. It was Football there's team. another team. There's another team that also has like a, a Native American. The Chiefs. The Chiefs. Okay. So it said end racism, and it said like go Chiefs in the paint right next to it. Mm-hmm. It all just feels toxic and poison. Yeah, it's all in there. It's like I don't know. It's like hard to 
it's hard to be pro against and have a f- infrastructure that is like not I wouldn't say pro it, but it's like pro money. So it's like yeah, yeah. Which, whichever one optics wise makes me more money, that's what I'm gonna put on the field. If if America was good with yeah, be racist, they would spray paint be racist on the field. I feel yeah. like Yeah. 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 But the, money. I thought though, because I grew up in D.C., so I'm, I'm sure at home in a closet there's like a Washington Redskins shirt, and then they change it to the Washington football team. How does that make you feel? What that I did they change well, it? You don't care. I, I you're couldn't not like, care yeah, at all. Yeah. I'd call it the I'd call it the the Washington douchebags for all I give a shit. Yeah. But it was such a such a fuck you to be like, okay, we're the football team then. Right. You want to take it away? Yeah. It's insane that anyone gives a fuck. About a team name is insane to yeah. me. Yeah. I mean, I think they should just change it. Just change it. You go, oh, we shouldn't have said that name. Just mm-hmm. change it. Keep the colors. Did I they say change the colors too? They didn't oh. change the colors. I don't think. No, I'm saying just you can keep the colors, change the name, yeah. change the yeah, mascot, yeah, yeah. change the thing. You know, you still have the same color scheme. Yeah. It's fine. It's not going to be that confusing. I mean, their record's still going to be their record, honestly, with the whatever name change. Yeah. yeah, and then in a hundred years it'll be it'll be a blip. I'm sure you know other yeah. teams were ch- something else in the 1800s. Don't give a fuck anymore. I don't think there'll be football in a hundred years. You really think it's gonna end? Yeah. Do you think that's just for football? I don't think or it's you think a that's safe bet. But other sports too. Nah, basketball is gonna be here forever. Football, if the fact that the the rest of the world doesn't play it makes me go. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is gonna last. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the number one sport in America, but. I don't think America is going to be what America is right now in 100 years. I could see less people putting their kids into football. And so the talent gets less and less and less Mm -hmm. until it's not as you don't feel like you're watching. No one's breaking records anymore. No one's like throwing the coolest pass anymore. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. No, go, go ahead. I was like, at one point, they're like, okay, there's no more hitting. (laughs) <laughs> would be really funny to like just see like them be like slowly be like okay well now we're not gonna hit in it right and it would be like i don't know how you know it would be see, funny to see how that develops yeah. i think i think though uh only they say like the craziest people play football and because people aren't putting their kids into football anymore we're we're getting like forced kids out of it but like all the people that want to play are going to be in there yeah and those are the crazy kids and those are the what's going to make it watchable for yeah. some people i played football and uh, I liked it. I liked playing it, but I never cared about watching it. And um, I think it just liked it because I was going to do some sort of sport. And it was like the easiest sport for me to do well mm-hmm. was just like moving quickly for th- like three feet. You know, like just like firing it <laughs> okay, straight yeah. ahead really hard. And um, so and I liked I liked being a part of a team, but I, I didn't feel I didn't feel uh, it was a weird sport for me to do because I yeah. didn't I did not feel at home with the team a lot of the times. I, I think I told you one time I made a joke. Uh, I was you know I was like very clearly like the guy who did like drama stuff, but also did football, and I was good at football. So I was like starting and blah blah. blah. You were the but, first High School Musical. Uh, yes, I was that, and um, I one time as a I don't know what I was thinking. It did not go over well. I was like I I was the center, so I I always called the huddle. And I never felt like it was natural for me to be like, huddle, you know, like you're expected to like, huddle, like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I never felt like that's how I want to do that. Um, so one time at a practice, I thought this would be funny. I go, huddle, 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 huddle. And um, just one time thinking like someone will laugh. <laughs> Someone ah! laughed. Not one person laughed. The coach, one of the defensive line coach, looked across the way like. I got two questions. <laughs> yeah. Was this a game or practice? Practice, practice. Oh my god, no practice, practice. Where you was it? A good it was like a practice? Friday practice. Like we're you're not walk wearing through. all your pads. Yeah, walk through. Okay. So you're not. So it's not that serious. It's uh, it's a day before a game, so it's serious in that way. But you're not in your pads. Uh, you know. Um, they killed you. I know no it. one enjoyed it. No one said I anything. Love you say they liked, they liked me enough su- to not say anything, but uh, it would, did not go over. It did not get a laugh. I like like they when you say hike, your own team tackles you <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> I like that you said when he says hike when that's like the quarterback. Yeah, line. the quarterback's job is hike. <sighs> I'm hiking the ball. All right. Yeah, I played football too, but I was just there to make jokes. I was terrible. You were terrible. What was, was your position? I wasn't, I wasn't terrible, but. I didn't like it. Uh, I was middle linebacker, and I wanted to play strong side linebacker or weak side linebacker, one of them. 
So there's there's an offensive line and a defensive line. Shut right? the fuck up. I, was I know this. Help. I, was, I, I didn't know. know. I, I didn't know. I don't know, know. if you know. I don't know if he knows. I didn't know. I, I do know. I played. You I played. played. What'd you play? Well, I played year. one year. What position? I I definitely it was only defense. I wasn't offense. It was a. Uh, uh, in the middle section, front, the, front back, in the middle. Front back, half back, front back, half back, in on defense? middle linebacker, middle linebacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I gave For you that. What year? I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I could have said. I could have said tennis back, yeah. backer. Yeah, yeah. And he was the like, second yeah, back. backer. The second <laughs> backer. backer. Um, what year? Uh, this was. I think it was like fifth grade. Oh, so not okay. Oh, okay. So okay. You we, were, we were playing tackle, tackle, though. We were playing tackle. Yeah, of course. But yeah, <laughs> I don't think I. I don't think I touched tackle the ball. Tackle was a hug and fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I don't were, think I touched didn't the ball. Go through somebody. No, someone once knocked me down. There was one time we played against the sixth grade team, and I just remember these sixth graders. I'm sure they were tiny little boys, but looking at yeah. them as a fifth grader, I was like, "These are monsters. These are men, and they're going to uh, kill me." Yeah, yeah. I mean, in ninth grade, they used to pull us up, like pull some of us, the better ones up to like the seniors f to practice like for like yeah uh, re you know like like game big big playoff games and things like that so we'd just be like pulled up to like hold bags or get tackled and oh, it was awful do you have any i want to see a picture of you in your football gear i have a picture of me in my football i gear. have one yeah and when did you stop playing immediately i uh, <laughs> <laughs> i think it was 11th grade i played and then i stopped i think I did spring, right? I did spring, and I didn't even want to start in the season. I feel like it was like a, a midpoint. I was like, I think the real season's fall, right? But there's like this spring season where you like – you that's where you get all your players and you get your team ready. You have a couple games, and then the fall season, like when school starts, you already have your team ready. I never showed up. I was like, no, this is this is it. And were you were you doing funny stuff? Were you doing theater? What were you doing? Oh no, I knew I knew not to do that. I knew <laughs> that's that's a terrible combination for football. But uh, <laughs> huddle, 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 huddle. huddle. Uh, it would it would you you would have got laughs at our school. Though. That's our football team wasn't great. Um, Mine wasn't either. That's how you. If, that's if why you, thought, you knew it would be a bad. I, then it that's why worked. I always said it was funny because you know every football coach, no matter. Uh, and I liked my coaches, but I but I will say there's a thing about high school football where every coach is treating it like it's Friday Night Lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, our team was never yeah. good enough to ha warrant these kinds of speeches. I mean, we went to playoffs. <laughs> we went to playoffs one year, you know, and and got immediately eliminated. But like, but like, we were just never that good. So that's why I was like, I know I I'm never gonna I could never do this because I would always be like, this is so silly. Right. Like we're just not that good. Right. You know? I love. I you would know a bad football team if everyone started uh, harmonizing with you. That's yeah. how you would know. Like, yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I knew that they were in trouble. That I was one of the best you know player, maybe one of the best linemen, and I just be, didn't I, care. Like, maybe I was they like, should be an acapella group instead of a football team. Yeah. That's <laughs> where your hearts are. If if it really turned into High School Musical, I'm like, you guys lost every game. It was. It'd have been bad. But, but I think that's what sports can be good for. Because I had I was on the basketball team in in my like private middle school, and it was like they got a coach. They got a coach. Uh, I think he used to be like a coach at a college in Washington D.C. And I guess this is, was his new job was teaching fifth graders. And he would curse at us and be like, "What the fuck were you thinking?" And like, it was a good lesson as a kid to be like, "Oh, I need to do well, or people are counting on me." He said once, "I missed, I missed thirty shots in one game," and he said, "What the what the fuck happened out there?" Yeah. And I was like, "There was a girl on the stand who who I had a have a crush on," and he was like. Well, she's not going to want to fucking touch you yeah. if you don't make the, the shot. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, that's you need that as a kid sometimes. Yeah, there was so much talk of like, of like, you're not boys, you're men. And I was like, speak for yourself. I've never <laughs> fingered a woman yet. Like, I was like, I was like, I was like, not that's a man. You know what I mean? You start saying like, boys I'm, to men in the back. <laughs> Just like I would love to be, I I, I think you're uh, you're overestimating who I am. I didn't like I didn't like that because I didn't need that as a kid. I was uh, I was well aware of uh, how to grow up without being yelled at. Like yeah, or I didn't need, yes, I didn't need lo life lessons in order for me not to do something or for me to do something. Like if you told me to do something this way, and you kept going on about how to do it. After a while, I'm going to turn you off in my head. like Because mm. I heard you say it the first time. So you explaining why you're saying it means nothing to me. And like I was that kid. I was like, all right. 
I can, yeah. I can, yeah. I can turn on the stove. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to explain what a stove is anymore. Yeah. I, I got you. So let's talk about this. This CEO of happiness of happy. Wait, Sorry, he, he just wants me to be sad so bad. He does. Well, tell me he where did this start? What the, I I think it's so interesting because because I hear CEO of happy. I'm like. What the fuck? <laughs> so clearly we just we just come from very different. Uh, uh, there's something deep inside us that is different mm-hmm. or the same. And we just express it differently. Yeah. <laughs> I think my default face is a smile for uh-huh. some reason. It's not my fault. It's just I don't I'm not. Sometimes I'm unaware when I'm doing it. Do you think you had a happy household? Do, who oh, who no, do you get it from? It. That ain't it. Uh, that ain't. So what is it? What I don't you- know. I don't know. I was just like ever, ever in school, they'd be like, why are you smiling so much? And I'd be like, I, I didn't even know I was smiling. I I never, it wasn't a thing. It wasn't like, oh, my mom used to play music in the house and it made us feel good. I always <laughs> wanted that story, but it's not it. Um, <laughs> That's happy childhood. Yeah, yeah. My mom you, used to play music in the, household. the household. Yeah, no, nah, it was never it. I mean, granted, we had music sometimes, but that's not what made me happy. I think... Um, I liked being funny because it was like how I made friends, especially when I moved from Jersey to to Florida. Being bad was cool, and I didn't want to be bad because I would get beat at home if I was bad. Mm-hmm. So, really? Yeah. I don't feel like you were beat as a child. I just don't get that vibe from you. What would that vibe be? That I'd like shake? No. Nah. Someone... I bet you was put up on a pillow. But look, his pampered. feet is on like, the... His... Well, his foot is on the couch. He didn't get beat. You, you did dirty, not get beat. Dirty I'm nervous having feet my foot here. On an honest thing. Uh, you're no, you're correct. I was not beat. I was yelled at. But yeah, I, I, could, I had I parents who didn't. I could see that. I, didn't, I had parents who didn't care about this. No, nah, but it, this was that was just in one example. I don't they, think they just everything about me. Like, you were clearly this. not hit as a child. You weren't hit. You weren't hit. I could tell who who hit. Who I hit. feel like. I'm not sure if you were hit. I but was I not like, hit, but I feel um, like you were disciplined. I was. I was very scared of getting in trouble, but I don't think uh, they kind of split the the. the disp- but I was. I was someone who wanted to people please. Right. I don't and, think you. Were, yeah. And yeah. did not want to rock the boat. Yeah. I was, My mom right once you. like spanked me. Like she was really mad, and then it was so it was so pathetic. We we laughed. I started oh, laughing. She no. started laughing, and we laughed at. Oh, you both she, laughed. She oh, tried that's to like good. discipline me like later in life, and we both laughed like, "Yeah, mom, too late to like be that mom." <laughs> you're you're you sweet. Your you muscles aren't developed enough. You can't just do this out of the blue. <laughs> you should have did this when I was two. Now it's too late. Uh, so who who hit? Was it mom or dad? Or both. They, T- bo- yeah, tag they team? both. They both tried to. They both did it. Was it with a, with a belt, bare hand? What are they doing? Jesus Christ, let's, let's expand uh, child abuse. Uh, I don't think it was called child abuse at the time. I don't think it's <laughs> Is this still, called raising your kids? It's called raising your kids. Uh, How do you they, feel they about were, it looking back at it now? I deserved every beating I got. That's the thing, though. They've never hit me for no reason. Like, it never was. good. <laughs> like, every time I got a whooping... Like of course, in the moment, I was like, I don't, I don't deserve this in the moment. But after a while, I was like, I can see how. What was if the, I didn't do this, then I wouldn't have gotten a beating. What did you do? That what was the biggest whooping? And what what did you do? I don't think there was a such thing as the biggest whooping at the time. Uh, I remember one. <laughs> my brother. I, it's funny. I don't remember when I got beat, but I remember when my brother got beat one <laughs> yeah. time. Well, uh, we were on our way somewhere. And um, we went in the backyard. We jumped the fence and we played on the neighbor's playground, right? And mind you, the neighbor's not home. No one there is there. I think we, I think we broke something or something. And I jumped back, and my brother jumps back late, and my mom sees him jumping back, and I'm like, oh shit! Oh, I tried to make it look like I was watching the whole time. Yeah. And he got a whooping, and I was like, yeah, we deserve that. And granted, I didn't we, get one. You say we deserve that. He got it. He, yeah, but, but we I, deserved but it. I knew I would have. It would have been merited for me. I yeah. Oh, is this a hit on the head? A spank on spank at the bottom? That's how I know he didn't get beat because he's wants the. But full, I'm curious. Like and he's everybody saying, else, everybody, saying, watching this, everybody watching this, everybody watching that's that's been beat before. Go. Oh, okay. He just probably got a, a beating real quick. But to you, I think it, it's either two things. I think it's either a light tap or murder, like a, a <laughs> vicious, like yeah, I'm bleeding. Yeah. Like, no, it's never, it was never like I got scars or anything. It was, um, well, granted, I might've been, it's cause I'm dark skinned. I probably never, it probably never showed, but, uh, <laughs> I will never forget 
So uh, two things. One, my stepfather, mm-hmm. to, and this is to my sisters, his children, but he never would do it to me. He would say to them, uh, present your hand, and he'd like smack them on the hand. And it kind of like, I'm sure it stung That's a cute. little, That's but it's cute. cute. It feels and like I remember, a, it watching, feels like I remember watching it like, I'm witnessing abuse. <laughs> this is trauma that you're causing. But I went to my friend uh, Nathaniel's house. He was my best friend in kindergarten. Mm. And I'll, I'll never forget it where his dad said to Nathaniel, he said, did you wash behind your ears? And Nathaniel's like, no, and I'm not gonna. Ooh. And his, wow, dad, his dad had a cane, and his dad leaned on his cane and kicked him in the face. And I was, now when I, I think, saw that. I think that's violent. I think yeah. that's. I, it blew, it blew my fucking mind. So I feel, I feel two ways about beatings, and beatings is such a strong word. I feel like, one, it's from not taking enough time to just talk to your kid, communicate. I feel like a lot of things can get a across with communicate but i'm sorry if, some, if my kid said that to me i don't think i could communicate with him like i would try but i i think <laughs> i think when you hit someone in the face that's off that's too far yeah i think a uh, bone is different than tissue i think <laughs> if you a spanking is tissue a beating is bone he tried to end that kid and i don't like that but mm, a yeah. tissue is like that's tissue like you're gonna be sore I think that's different. Like the same. Like if I made you do a hundred push-ups, or if I slapped you on the chest a hundred times, you'd probably have the same soreness. Yeah. In my mind. Yeah. It's probably not true scientifically wise, but you would heal the same, is what I'm thinking. Yeah. But if I hit you in the face and you fell on the face, like that would that's too far. That's too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I feel like that's probably their just my parents' justification. And do you think about it if you have kids? What you'll yeah definitely think about it. I don't think I would hit them. I hope I have kids that understand the same way I do. Like, because at an early age, I knew if I didn't do this, I wouldn't get in trouble. You hope you have kids who hop over the fence first before the second person Fast gets busted. Enough. Then you got to yeah. respect that. Like, yeah, damn, yeah, my yeah. kid's pretty good. Like, honestly, if your kids did shit that is bad, you would probably go, that's not, that's like, I've seen, that's pretty cool. Like, I'm pretty proud of you. Like, I'm not going to tell you I'm proud of you, but I'm like, I mean, yeah, I don't think I should have kids because I think of how mad I get sometimes at my cat. And <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't, not that I'm hating my cat or anything like that. It's like, but like I think where, of like, where I, it sounded, though. I think of That's like that, this, Yeah, that is. That sounds like you're punting that cat. I, no, 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 no. He's like tissue versus I, bone, I pick you up say. The cat, I pick up the cat and I'll put him in his room and I'll lock the door in his room, in our room. <laughs> like to, to separate. Be like, <laughs> if, if he's like, if he's kind of like just doing stuff you know like cat stuff yeah uh or sometimes i'll get i'll be so frustrated if like you know i just sat down but like i'm i've been doing a lot of things and then all of a sudden i'm gonna relax and he's like gotta bite me in that moment and i'll get so frustrated that i'll be like i'll just be like just fucking stop like i will yell at the cat like that and nicole will be like that's very intense sometimes the way you yell at the cat yeah. and it's just it's every once in a while but I, I it makes me think that if I had kids I, I would get frustrated like that and, yeah. and, and I, I wouldn't want to yell at them like that you my dad I mean? was a yeller so my yeah. dad I mean I, I think See, I, I think, think my dad's abuse in different uh, my, I don't think my dad yelled at me yeah it's always there. like my I think my dad's dad like beat him mm-hmm. beat him and he like went to high school where like nuns ran it and they hit their hands with rulers and all sorts of shit mm. so like i think my dad was like not at all he never touched me but he would yell yeah, right oh he would yell like a madman yeah my my dad was uh my dad was a spanker he had a rough hand though so like he would spank i don't think would he, he needed would, a all the way like sit on the couch come over here nah, or would we, he just like right out the gate you're standing i remember one time <laughs> It was not even that crazy. I, I remember one time I was sagging, right? Which is when your pants. Yeah. For the, I, not you guys, your audience. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know how Caucasian. Um, So one time I was sagging and I said hi. Like, because after school, you know, you greet your parents. I came and said hi to my dad and I walked away. And my dad said, come back. And I was like, what, what happened? And he lifted up my shirt, saw me sagging and gave me like three spankings on the ass. And I was like, damn, that, that hurt. But and because you were sagging, there's less cloth even. Yeah, you're just yeah, like one was, layer. But then it was like, damn, <laughs> like there. If I wasn't sagging, that would have happened, or it wouldn't have hurt. It was like a catch twenty two. I didn't know sagging. Like I've never heard it in that term. Like as a as a as a noun, sagging or as an adjective. Yeah, like sagging. If like I know, like your pants are too low, but sagging. No, I've never heard that. It's like a sagging sack. A sagging like 
potatoes that were sagging. It's a verb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have never heard it said that way. Sagging. Well, well, I didn't say sagging my pants. I just said sagging. In yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's a verb of yeah. Of, uh, I just didn't. Say no, no. I, I, I'm going to start using it all the time. I hope not. I, I wear my yeah, pants. It pretty feels well. weird if you're going to use it. Don't a do lot. that. Sagging? Yeah. Why? Oh, I didn't. Oh, it's, I'm going to have to bleep me saying sagging. No, no, no. I'm not. It's not a. It's not a <laughs> another word I'm on the list. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm just like don't don't pick up a word for no reason. Yeah, you know, like, like, like no. Yeah. I guess it always makes me like, remember. He's going to go out his way to say yeah, sagging. Yeah. I just always remember like the thing uh, when when Hannibal Burris called out Bill Cosby. It was because Bill Cosby was always like talking about yeah. people with sagging their pants, but and yeah, that's I, what Hannibal was like sagging pants. You fucking raped someone, <laughs> yeah. and that's like that's what did it. Right. And I bet if Cosby would have just shut his fucking mouth about pants, he probably would still. Nah, he'd, he'd have got got somebody. Would've really, got I think somebody would have got him. Yeah, it's so hard to tell. There are so many think, things that I, like I a think, chain of events. I don't think Hannibal Burris is the reason he's in jail. I don't blame Hannibal for that. Or well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't now, blame but, him either. I would celebrate him for. But no, as if oh God, I don't want to say if I was Bill Cosby, but I don't <laughs> think I was Bill Cosby. If I did it, I how I would do it. Okay, <laughs> okay, how I would have gotten away. Um, uh, but I hope. Hannibal Burris doesn't think he's the reason. You know what I mean? Like, I doubt it. No, it was, I, but it's I, like it's 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 kind of like a, an avalanche. Like it wasn't one thing yeah, that's yeah, responsible. So it was like one. Like it's like uh, Jenga. Eventually, it was gonna fall. Yes, well, the funniest yes, thing that yes. happened, I think, like part of that avalanche. And again, I haven't like looked at the full timeline. But like right as Hannibal's video was going viral, Cosby's social media team, because it couldn't have been Cosby did a thing on his Twitter of like, make your own Cosby meme. And they had like pictures of Cosby and they wanted people to like, you know, yeah. engage with it socially. And everyone, Twitter <laughs> was like, you know, know, I like putting pops and raping people. Like Twitter <laughs> went wild Jesus. with it. And that like was part of it trending. Whenever you see something go viral, like there's, there's several things that just happen at the right time. Yeah. And before you know it, it's an unstoppable force. It's a cataclysm. Um, so, so you were, you were in Florida you're you're getting followers, and then what was the, what was the big was it the? I know y'all don't sanitize. This is a, a hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, you have higher standards. <laughs> Let me just say the first thing you said when you walked in, you walked up two flights of stairs and out of breath, very out of breath for someone in as good shape as you are. You did and not said, have this. did not know any I of this. I didn't even hear this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm very saying. Very out of shape. And I said, oh, are you okay? He said, yeah, there's all these stairs. And I was like, you don't you live on the first floor? And you said, well, I have an elevator. And I said, <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I used all these that is, stairs. I, 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 you asked for water, and, I, and I, I, I was like, "Oh, from the sink." You said, uh, "No Evian, no <laughs> sparkling Perrier," and I said, "Okay, buddy." <laughs> At least bubbly. So, what, what, what changed the? What made you move to New York? What was the big event? Late night, Seth Myers. Late night with Seth Myers. Yeah. And did you meet my 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 girlfriend Tova, uh, his, his your manager? Mm -hmm. uh, was that? Did you meet her after Seth Myers or before Seth Myers? Before. So the followers started coming in and uh, it, I had like two different routes in my head of how to uh, eventually do eventually what I want to do, which is like act in TV shows and do stand up full time. And like, yeah, like kind of my version of Eddie Murphy or Kevin Hart or Ryan Reynolds meets all of them. But um, <laughs> never mind. I'm like, I'm like, the audience knows who all three are. They're not that niche. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was strange. They're if they were like, successful. if they were like really Caucasian, then they were like, I only know Ryan uh, Reynolds. I don't know. Oh listen, I, I would argue just, the I, more the more Caucasian, the more familiar with Kevin Hart that I'd, they are. I'd hope. I maybe maybe so young they don't remember Eddie. But, I bet um, there's some people out there who's like, yeah, I have one black friend. His name's Kevin Hart, and it's like <laughs> they know the him Kevin from the Hart. movies. <laughs> but I had two I had two routes in my mind, and it was gonna be like keep building social media following and like go on tour and like try to like gather that and try to do it that way and then um late night presented itself and it was more so like oh this could be a little more traditional or a more industry way and going that way i was like oh that makes more sense for me to go that mm -hmm. way but yeah and but then I, I met tova and then late night came yeah yeah mm -hmm. and then i moved to new york was it was it tough to leave florida any people you miss any people that were like oh fuck this fuck this young guy no, nah, I'm I'm CEO of Happy. I don't have any uh, enemies. I uh, CEO CEOs have enemies. You might they, you might not see them as enemies, but I'm sure some people in Florida are like nah. Because really, uh, him? 
I'm sure people say that, but I don't think they <laughs> they wouldn't know me well enough. To, you have to know someone to hate someone, or like, because if you hate someone that you don't know, it's surface. You know, you yeah. only hate what yeah. they got. You don't hate them. You hate what they have. And I'm sure people hate what I have, but I don't think they hate me. Because if they had it, they wouldn't hate me. Or if I didn't have it, they wouldn't hate me. Yeah. So they, it's not hate. It's just. Do you miss any of your comedy envy. partners in yeah. Florida? Any comedy? Friends, I had to break that down for him. He no, tried, I, he I tried like to it. take away my badge, my CEO. Do I miss my? Oh, for sure. Yeah, we just uh, Facetimed either yesterday or two days ago, and at first it was just supposed to be a quick Facetime, but then we threw everybody like it was like four of us on there, and it just lasted all night. But I miss all my friends for sure. Like it's not the same, and COVID changed a lot of things. A lot of them moved to different parts of Florida too, so it's like mm. not the same. But yeah, I mean. I don't I'm a I'm a weird dude like I don't uh like I will I don't imprint with people if that makes sense mm-hmm. like if you told me you was moving tomorrow I'd be like ah oh, damn that's sad all right <laughs> oh boy yeah. I feel like you must have had some relationships that ended and you're like all right cool we had a good time yeah because it's like it's not ended then it's like I have uh, like if my relationship with people were contingent on me living in florida then that wasn't the bond that was that you yes know I mean? sure yeah because i have friends now that like from florida or that still are in florida and like they're still my brother that that didn't change mm-hmm. like i will like eventually we'll link back up or they'll come visit or i'll go visit or like it's like growing up but they're not the jersey kids that i didn't know their last names and yeah, I, yeah yeah they're, yeah they're so bonds so now now we're here we're in new york what what month did you move like covid wise september september wow so you had, oh, oh this past september yeah that's so oh, okay you've not barely been here then nah especially real new york i've only like right, I've you've only never seen, been like i mean it's you know yeah flashes here and there you but. guys talk a lot of mess and i'm not seeing it this is all i'm saying all that this is the greatest city in the world who said that the the tourist industry is I that what like you're talking new about yorkers say that no, you, you don't think this is the greatest city, greatest city. I do. I, I, I had do. a whole Absolutely. segment on this podcast where Absolutely. I said we need to stop saying it's the greatest city in the world. Absolutely. It's a okay. fucking. All right, mess. Where else do you want to live? <laughs> well, I love where that. else are you gonna go? Tell uh, me right uh, now. Uh, yeah. and keep pick, it to America. Pick, pick, pick. pick. Can pick. I? Can I remove no. the stand up? No, comedy you can't. No, 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 Live no, there. Then that's why. Okay. L. A. is pretty nice. I gotta tell you. Oh, you gotta get a car. That, yeah, you're right. If a stand-up... And you can't even see, so now how are you going to drive? Yeah, right, well, there exactly. You go. Thank you. I'm about to go to Chicago. Maybe New York Chicago is the only place. place you can drive with your vision, and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You don't want to talk about New York, Chicago. If you go there, that's all they're going to so, talk about. Chicago. So you're in a safe space, at least with me. Tell me the downsides of living in New York. You've been here for... Oh, I don't. I would tell you. Tell me. I feel safe saying New York is not that great. Um, it stinks. Um... The weather, I don't like it. I think I I never had eczema. I got eczema when I moved here for sure. Um, what else? I don't like a lot of things about New York. What neighborhood are you in around? I'm in Long Island City now. Okay, I was I was at first I was in Midtown, which is terrible. Like for a living, yeah. I, oh yeah, I don't what, know why there are hotels. It's too because yeah, from 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 Florida, DC. There's a lot of space in DC, right? So you grew yeah. up with. With like people not just randomly walking in. Front well, I go of your Potomac, place. Maryland, which is like we had like a forest in the backyard. Okay. Yeah, we played paintball in. I, I yeah, I grew up. Pa- in the- your parents can't beat you if you grew up in a forest. Like that is super child abuse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yeah. no one would hear that you scream. Yeah. They could bury me. There's enough acres to bury <laughs> yeah, me. Like no one would find it for a I while. I hope they never. But um, but yeah, like so, like living in Midtown, where random strangers would just walk by. I remember. A, a, uh, a comment on my TikTok was like, hey, man, I saw you outside. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> you might as well post my address now. <laughs> just know where I live. I ain't yeah. like that. But, yeah. You must get a lot of people approaching you and saying, ah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't want to be, like, I, I, I don't want to be, fa- and especially, like, the TikTok fame is so iffy. You don't know why people are staring at you. And you, I've never met someone go to me, you're the guy on late night. They go, you're the guy on TikTok. So, yeah. And it's like usually kids, right? So like, and in New York, it, one time I was at the mall and this kid was selling candy, and I was like, Nah, I don't even want no candy. I'm good. He was like, I'm trying to raise money. I was like, Yeah, I get it, but I'm I don't want any candy. He was like, You're the guy from TikTok. And my friend was like, Well, now you gotta give him, you gotta give him uh, some money. 
I was like, damn. And I gave him money, and I was like, I still don't want any candy. And I was like, I really just gave him money because he recognized me. Yeah. I don't like that. You hear that, yeah. kids listening? Just <laughs> find Jeff right. Yeah. If you say you're from TikTok. You I, get money, honestly. Yeah, that's how it works. I, le- I, le- I leave no bad impressions. When I first moved to New York, I, there was someone who it was like an older guy selling candy. And he was like, you know, I'm raising this to a basketball team for an inner city school. And I'm like 14 yeah. on a field trip. And I gave him a, a fifty dollar bill, and I said, "Could I give you know five dollars?" And he was like, yeah, "Yeah, I'll get you change in a second. I never saw, oh. I never saw that change. They Jeez. just kind of kept talking to where me in that? a way where I didn't know. This was, this was like in Times Square. I was just like a little kid. I was like prime, prime target. It was like yeah. I remember once in Times Square, and I, you know, I'm, I'm in Times Square all the time for the comedy stuff. Yeah, and you know, there's the guys where they they put the CD, they practically push it into your hand yeah, yeah, yeah. and i remember yeah. like one giving it to me and i was like oh it's, i got a cd and i started walking away he's like well no you gotta you're you not gotta gonna pay. give me anything for that cd yeah. and i was like yeah. what is this exchange <laughs> yeah um but do you remember when you first i mean you're kind of in the you know you've been, you've been here less than a year mm-hmm. when you first moved to new york i feel like there's so many things that were like very traumatic and or like wild that you get so desensitized. I mean, I remember what, in the first month of living here, I was on the subway, and it's not funny, but there was <laughs> there was <laughs> a homeless person laugh? underneath the bench, like underneath people's feet, oh. crawling, oh like, my like, god, and kind of moaning, <laughs> and and people were just like kind of like moving their feet to like let like, him go let, like like not have him touch, but like he was making noises and and like slowly dragging himself under underneath the bench that and is it was wild. it was a horrifying image <laughs> and and i was like looking at this like cuz none of these people were reacting like there's a person crawling yeah, yeah, underneath yeah. me yeah, yeah. they were all like uh, like they just were moving to make sure that they yeah. were you know in his way and 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 i was like this is this is insane i i i'll, I'll never forget that and image. now you go on the subway you're like where's you're the like, homeless guy <laughs> underneath the bed you're looking yeah. for it yeah <laughs> That, um, that is scary. I think um, the closest experience I've had to that, which I'm thankful is not close at all, is uh, this homeless man yelled Ey! outside my apartment for like every four minutes at 3 a.m. <laughs> oh. Every four minutes. Yeah. And that's when I was like, I got to get out of Midtown. Midtown. I broke what the lease. What floor were you like, on that you could hear that? I was on the 10th floor. And you could hear him. Wow. Yeah. That's loud. I, and I think I think I was just hypersensitive, especially like coming from a place yeah. where you don't hear anything when you go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, that was- I I would do when I lived in Harlem. I lived by a busy street mm-hmm. uh, on Malcolm X Boulevard, and uh, Sundays in the morning, people would cut, like some guy in a motor scooter thing playing a radio. And my thing, I'd come outside, and I'd be like. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just got my baby to sleep. I would always, I, I invented a baby and I would come out and I'd be like so flustered and like it would usually work because they weren't going to sympathize with me, but I'd be like, please, my baby, my baby, it took that forever to put him to sleep so and he's funny. sick and it, it worked and I'd and get mean glances, but like these, these were dudes playing the radio max volume at five in the morning. These are oh, monsters. Wow. So I knew they're not great people. Yeah, and I yeah. had to like you know make them the, the innocence of a babe, right? Well, maybe they just had up. a different schedule than you too. This is the Mark only time being sympathetic. They can listen to this. This is the only time. <laughs> they can only listen time to that this. they can party and have fun is at five a.m. And guess okay? who killed their joy? <laughs> yeah, a fake baby. For a fake baby. And they knew. I've never seen this baby in my life. Yeah. I live here. I live here. I've never <laughs> seen this baby. <laughs> Um, all right, well, let's move on to our, our next segment. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. Uh, do you have something that, that you want to, that needs to stop? Uh, I, I was thinking about my thing, but I'm going to let you guys go first. Oh, go, uh-huh. sure. Yeah. I'll do a quick one. And this is kind of, this is, this is uh, rude. Uh, people who, when someone dies, people always go like, I have no words. And then they proceed to do words. Do words. <laughs> you know, I don't, I also don't like sending energy or sent, like people saying that uh-huh. you're, you're not do, or my thoughts and prayer goes out to this person stop you're not you're not gonna think of, or pray about i don't believe you similar saying like is there anything or let me know if there's if anything i can, I can do, do because you're like they're like just do it just yeah. send them something or or don't send them something but asking being like if there's anything you need you're just putting like, it off of you and you're also like yeah you're like being like hey and an assignment for you is <laughs> 
<laughs> if you think of something, I'll be there. But like, I'm not going to put any energy into thinking of it. You have to do it. And, uh-huh. and, and you have to really be vulnerable. Put yourself out there yeah. and be like, okay, I do need something from you. Right. No, like just do something. Yeah. And I, I, it's never, it's not a mean, It's not, people aren't being mean by it. But it is sure. a thing of like. I just think in general, like, especially with like actor performer types, there's there's a lot of eulogizing and it's all public and like there's just a couple where I'm like mm, you talked about yourself a little too much in this eulogy. Mm-hmm. I feel yes. like if if you died before me, yes. like why my, why'd you have to use that example? I, I'm I'm I like it. Because like I think I would have like a good post. I'd be like but I, I would I wouldn't be like That's here's a great thing. episode of the downside where Russell really talked. I would like try to be like here's something Russell here's did. Here's a sta- clip of me doing stand up that Russell saw once. <laughs> and he like he liked this bit a lot. He said this bit was his favorite. <laughs> I like that. I think that's cute. I think... Um, or a picture of just, like, you and, like, I cannot be in the middle of the picture. I would have to crop it in a way where you are the center of the picture I'm posting. Yeah. I think uh, p- posting family members who are not on your social media has to stop. Like, that's not oh, for them. That's for that's for us. Like, and I'm... I yeah. don't need to Wait, see that. Wait, like about, about here's my dad, like, for Father's Day, but you're like, your dad's not on Instagram. Your dad's not on so, Instagram. He's so not going to see this. He's not seeing this. Happy Father's... And you captioned it, Happy Father's Day, Dad. Yeah. Fam, we not... We not your dad. Yeah, my dad is not on Instagram, so I, it would be silly if I do, did that. Do you ever do that? You ever post a picture? Of no, dad? I've never. I've never posted really about my parents. I think once uh, they they were on Facebook for a while, and I, but not. I've never done the Father's Mother's Day because like I call them or I see them, and mm-hmm. like I I, I I I those days. Uh, no offense to anyone who does it. But it is one of those things where I just don't feel it. Doesn't feel it wouldn't feel genuine coming from me doing got, that for my. I got I got a good one. Stop. What has to stop is pressuring people to do things for their birthday on their birthday. And what I mean by that is stop going, what are you doing for your birthday? Mm. Like, stop doing that. That is pressure. And maybe they don't want to do anything Mm. or maybe they don't feel like they should do something for their birthday. Someone else should do it. So instead of going that, just go, hey, you want to do something for your birthday? Like, I think that is is nicer than unless they already have plans. But I think stop putting the burden of, of orchestrating a grand birthday for yourself is, is just too much. Like, stop. I'll, that should stop. I'll add on to that. And this is a similar feeling of like, uh, so I had a set for Comedy Central. Mm-hmm. And everyone after was like, you must feel, you must be really happy. Right. You must be really excited. You must be over the moon right now. And then I was suddenly like, oh, I... I feel guilty that I'm not, or I feel guilty yeah. like, oh, I didn't yeah. have the exact experience. In fact, it was quite anxiety inducing <laughs> yeah. and I'm glad it's done. I was so excited to be fucking done. Right, right, right. And I I feel, it's the same thing with birthdays where so what did you, what did you do? Yeah, did you like, have a great time? Do you feel any different? And I'm like, just leave me alone. Like, let me, you're still processing. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? I think yeah. even after a certain, you, after you turn a certain age, birthdays don't mean the same thing. That nothing. They, they, they mean nothing. Exactly. So, like, you, I think at a certain point, you start processing life different. So, when people come at you with all that energy, you're still trying to figure out what happened in that show. Did, like, yeah. did it go exactly how you saw it? Uh, like, you still think about the jokes. You still think about the moment. And then you probably get to enjoy it and be like, yeah, I really did that. Or watch it back and, like, yeah, I really did that. Yeah. But they're already jumping on you before you even know how you feel about it. And I feel like that's the same way with birthdays, which has to stop. It says yeah. with performance, I'm like, you know where I felt joy when I was doing it. Everything after, and I'm like, ah, I miss it. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, well, on stage, that's when I had fun. Yeah, yeah, for those yeah. five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. But I, I, I have a birthday coming up, and uh, it's, it's good. It's nice to be in a relationship Whoa, right now. Based Tobis. off of this past, did we film this already? So you had yeah, it's already thirty three. Yeah. Russell decided to go out of town for it. I know. You're not so going to be there. That's I'm your, really bummed your, about your it. thing. What were you about to say about Tova? Uh, what Tova's going to is uh, it's nice because Tova's going to like. She's planned the night for me. Is that not? That must feel great for oh, you. You just get feels, to wake yes. up. It feels fantastic. You just yes. get the birth. That's what she, yeah. yeah. You get the birth. It's much better than in years past, where you're like, I think I want to do this thing, and then and then we're like, sure, and then like three months later, we're like, oh, we we still got to do this thing, and then we do the yeah. thing, and you know, it's, and, and it's not as, it, as I'm nice better about way. making plans now, but like earlier in life, you know, is that thing where I wouldn't make plans and then no. I'd make them to last minute, and no one would be free because mm-hmm. I'd, I'd be like six p.m. like, hey guys, uh, you want to get together for my birthday? No. Damn. Wow. I guess no one likes. And I once my friend Lindsay Elizabeth Hand, 
uh, who he dropped the last name too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she deserves. I want you to know who we hate. Right uh, now. There was one birthday that I did not plan it. I was depressed, and she and her husband, who I'm friends with too, like had me over for dinner, and okay, then they let me love her. They got yeah. me drunk, and then they were like, "Just stay, just stay," and they set up the couch for me. Wow. And I honestly felt like it was a a really deep act of like this guy's sad. It's his birthday. Yeah. We're gonna take care of him yeah. for the night. Yeah. And that was nice. That, Cause that brought you back to like growing up birthdays. It's like you didn't have to worry about anything. You just got yes. to eat cake. My dad love. my dad was a birthday not some not always a great dad, but gifts wise, like mm. he got me he got like the Power Rangers, like five people dressed up like the Power Rangers. Oh my like, God. with big Power Ranger heads and scavenger hunt and Yeah, he didn't have to beat you. He just <laughs> took that away. <laughs> he stopped doing that. Then you <laughs> And for our final segment, you better count your blessings. You better count your blessings. We uh, we've had a mix, some happy, some sad, but let's have one one nice thing. Russell, what do you got? I'm taking vacation next week, and I haven't done that in a while. Like off of work. Uh, Didn't you just be... go to the uh, Bahamas? Oh yeah, but I was working there. Okay. I, I, I did work while you I, I went to Barbados. Out. But yeah, uh, I'm like no work, no nothing. I get to see my my nephews, and I haven't seen them Aww. in a long time. Where are you so going? So I'm very excited. Uh, Cape Cod. Let's Cape see Cod. if you yell at them. Like yeah. Cat. Uh, no, I don't. I'm very good. Uh, that my nephews love me. They're they're we, we have a good <laughs> I hope time. So. Uh, I'm very you know I'm I'm down to clown and uh, and uh, you know they're the they're the nice age of like I think like five and three. Gotcha. So they're really fun. They're not like over things. They're like really always excited to see me. That'll be a bummer. I think that I I am bummed about that. Like thinking of like you know kids get to be like ten to. Yeah. Once like, they hit puberty no, and they don't want to talk to you like, at they're all. They're too cool yeah. for you. And I and I won't know what to say to them either. I'll just be like, <laughs> oh, like TikTok, no. our pimples. You know, like uh, like what are we? By then it'll about? be some new yeah. app that yeah. like he can't even yeah. know, yeah. won't even know bleep how to open. Bleep, bleep, yeah, <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> we could have said real words. <laughs> just sounds. Just sounds. Um, my blessing. I'm looking for the 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 thing of goo that uh, Tova and I. We went to this place where you make your own slime. You make your own goop. Uh, I really want to say that I'll, I'll look it up, uh, but it's it's a it's for kids. It's definitely for kids. Yeah. But Tova and I got uh, stoned quite early in the day, and we went to this this uh, make your own goo place, and uh, all the staff there was super nice. They treated us like we were children, so they'd be like, "Here's the goo castle," and I'd be like, "Ooh!" And you play with different slime that has different smells. Here it is. It's called. Uh, nope, it's not here. Oh, Slumu, the Slumu Slu Institute. Oh. And you get name tags and you change all the vowels to ooh. So I was Ju, Jun Marco, oh Jun Marco. They didn't mean that. They, they, yeah. they didn't. That, that was not, ooh. Oof. They should have thought about that. Yeah. Before. And yes, and but we got we got free slime. It cost $50 per person. Wait, do you get to, how much slime you walking out of the building with? Yeah, I might as well. Well, you're playing with these vats of slime and that's when it's most fun when you're playing and then they give you this little cup but you get to pick your flavor. I did marshmallow, blue, and there's different kinds of slime. It's amazing. Like some pops, it's they call it the pop factor. Yeah. Some stretches, some spins. And Tova told me, I guess she went through a phase where she was like really into slime. Yeah. And luckily I met her after that phase. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't triggering for her? <laughs> no, we had a great time. And uh, uh, really, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to have... Uh, I think Tove and I both like these activity type things. Yes, you're an activities boy. Yeah, I like yeah. to be told what to do and and how to have fun. Yeah, That's fire. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. that was great. So a, a blessing from you, Jeff. I am all around blessed. Uh, I think I get reminded every day, like when I took the stairs up here today, and I realize I don't have to take that now. But uh, <laughs> I am, my blessing is not taking the stairs. stairs. Uh, no, nah, but really, I uh, I'm a gr in a great position in life. And one thing that I always regret is like I'm so focused on what's next, what's next, what's next. And then usually when I get to what's next, I'm like, damn, I didn't appreciate what happened because I was so focused. And it's like if someone told you whatever you wanted you to get in like a in a while you would get when you appreciate now because you know you were going to get it so you didn't have to worry as much but I don't know I'm just blessed all around I can't be really specific I'm the CEO of Happy Guys it's of course just, yes <laughs> I'm, I'm, and well, honestly gotta be I tough. do want to say if everything I'm gaining right now in life is happening to me because I'm black so be it fuck it 
It works for me. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah Russell was saying that before the podcast. Oh, um, John Marco. <laughs> John Marco. I felt like I felt John like Marco's there's favorite a lot thing. Of haters out here. John Marco's favorite thing is to try to get me in trouble every episode. That's at least so once. Funny. At least once. That's so. This was, that's, this was aimed at Russ. I felt like he was. He was. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking funny. <laughs> Just like when you There's said that, I was like, no, I didn't think that at all. Oh, That's yeah. not what I was thinking of. Not at all. <laughs> not me. Um, I also forgot to say, uh, if you enjoyed The Downside, check out the Patreon. You get uh, early episodes, ad-free episodes, bonus episodes. It's patreon.com slash downside. Again, patreon.com slash downside. Also, everyone listening to this right now missed the live show. I'm sure. Oh, yes. We had a live show. We're going to have another live show. This is also on YouTube if you want to watch it, see our fun, fun act outs. Um, but uh, very excited to have you here and hear about the, the downsides of I'm succeeding to too here. fast. Um, what anything you want to plug? You don't need to because NBC's doing it for you. Yeah. But anything you want to plug, nonetheless, your handle. I don't know. Uh, Jeff right now. That's it. Jeff That's right it. now on everything. Jeff on right everything. Now. Um, we're really excited for, for all your stuff. Russell, anything you want to plug? I don't know. The, I still don't know the date of the <laughs> Uncle Function show. I think it's September 10th. September, you're right. I think it's September, September 10th, 10th September at Asylum. 10th. But if if you look at the calendar and it's not on there, then I was wrong. But I think it's September, <laughs> I think it's September 10th, 7.30 p.m., Friday. And uh, me, I, I didn't bring my phone with me, but I believe at the end of this month, I'm headlining the Looney Bin in Oklahoma City. <laughs> we need names. a round of applause thing. I, we, yeah. we, we don't have, we, I need to add that here. Uh, Looney Bin, but uh, lots of good, lots of fun headlining dates coming up. Uh, uh, September 12th, I'm going to be headlining, this is sooner, headlining the Albany Funny Bone hey, for a one-nighter congrats. at the Albany Funny Bone. Things are good. Check out the Instagram, at um, And uh, just like uh, Jesus, uh, don't we do will... Don't, don't. Don't 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 do that. Don't, do don't that. say anything That's about Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, because you're just gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna be. Yes, he's gonna be mean. Yeah, don't. He's gonna be mean. What were you gonna say? No, what were you gonna say? Just like Jesus. Things ended well for him. Water, everyone. You know. <laughs>